what we have here is an Evergo. Yes. This is Evergo's cheap economy fan. Three speed, non reversible. I am not sure if it's light kit adaptable or not. It does not have a light wire. Probably isn't. But of course, that can be made to be by adding a new extra wire. No problem there. <clears throat> so, this one dates to April of 1984. The blades are stamped steel. Which is unusual for Evergo because their 36 inch blades are usually aluminum. Usually, but not always. Evergo is weird. The motor is cast aluminum. Sometimes it's iron. <clears throat> but this one's aluminum. As you see on the switch housing, there is no reverse switch. This is a fan that was, I think these were sold out of Scotty's hardware, which was, was, keyword being was, a hardware store chain basically existing in Florida. <clears throat> okay, so this was a cheap, <clears throat> basic economy offering kitchens because back in the 80s small industrials were perfectly fine in kitchens on normal ceilings no one cared about the old 10 foot thing that you know at least OSHA didn't think of it yet so yeah so I said three speed non-reversible stamp steel blades straight stamp steel blades See how it performs. It has a very, very slight cyclic flux buzz. <clears throat> very, very slight. Is a bit of a wobble. One of the blades is probably off weight. medium Get us straight up high. Now on high speed it smooths out a little bit with the wobble. It's more of a shimmy rather than an actual death wobble. Moves a pretty good amount of air. Arguably a little more than the regular straight blade unions.
Yeah, this one was a Florida special. In regards to Scotty's hardware, I remember them. There was a Scotty's in Palm Coast, Florida. This is where my great grandmother lived. And yeah. I remember going there as a kid in the 90s. Bunch of cool fans on display. Most of them worked. You like old times. Where you could actually, you know, try before you buy. And that's an important thing that a lot of people have forgotten about, and I fucking hate it. You know? Can't try anything anymore. All the fans at all the home centers, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, they're all <coughs> static. Can't test them anymore. You, you can't try before you buy, so you get a fan and then realize it's shit, and you're like, ah. And then you end up returning it, and this and that, and it's just mm, a waste of time. Try before you buy. Make fans that actually function. That's what really has to happen again. But oh no, people make few. Ooh, liability. Well, people are stupid. Let these people die. But anyway, yeah, so. Mm. It's actually moving a good amount of air, all things considered. Let's let it coast. Florida special also in the sense that, again, everyone in Florida had a little industrial in their kitchen. Because I guess that made sense at one point. <clears throat> but. Anyway, there you have it. An Evergo economy industrial.